What is up, YouTube? We're back. Oh, we're back. We're back for a show and tell it's been so long. I am the VHS Drifter, aka the Michael Jordan of VHS, aka Robbie Hollywood, aka everyone's favorite neighborhood thrifter, aka who the fuck is this son of a bitch talking to us right now? He is a fucking nobody. AKA the trolls bitch. AKA your friend on YouTube. What is happening? What is happening, people? So you saw from my ride along, I went to the treasure chest, the treasure chest, op shop place, junkyard, whatever the fuck it was. And boy, did I get some good shit. And Kitty is happy today. Kitty's happy. I only spent $50. Today is a lot of videos, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go through every single video that I got for 50 cents. But the brilliant thing about this is the end total for the Kitty. And I did not use my phone once to look up any of this. I don't need to use my phone when I go to op shops when I look at videos. I don't need to, because I know what ones will sell. Now, was I wrong or was I right? We'll find out when we go through this list. This list, this haul, this haul. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. Show and tell, baby. We are back. Ow! Hmm. shoot through this so fast. I'm going to go through it so fast. I've, I got back, I did my research, I did my research of how much all these have been selling for, ones that aren't listed, ones that are rare and all that. I've even undercut myself with the prices and all that, just to show that I'm not putting too much on there. But if you've been following any of my stuff, history shows that Kitty does not lie. Kitty does not lie. I get what I tell you I fucking say that I'm gonna get. So let's get into it. Untested so far. This is the, I didn't test these, I just seen how much they were. So I've got this one for $5. This is a Sony Walkman. Uh, this is a cool Sony Walkman, this one. Now, if this sells, which it will, if it works, I should say, uh, people have got this brand new for like 200 bucks and uh, 150 bucks and all that. Some have been selling, the majority of these have been selling overseas um, and they've been putting their prices uh, pretty high. Um, oh, there's a tape in there. Pretty high. Um, so the majority of them are going between um, $50 and $100. For me, I'm just gonna put, remember everyone pays their own postage. So I'm gonna put uh, $50 in the kitty for this. 50 bucks in the kitty. This is uh, hoping that it works. Let's see what tape you need. Mozart to sleep. Mozart to sleep. I don't fucking want to sleep to Mozart, man. So Mozart to sleep is not staying in there. I should have kept it to test it. So $50 for the kitty. We've got another Walkman. This was $5. This one comes with its uh, own little uh, headset here. This one this is a boombox. It's a boombox one. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty retro cool uh, one. We've got its fucking uh, earphones. Uh, we've got its earphones. Any tape in this one? No tape. No tape. So that's pretty cool, that one. Um, I looked this one up as well. And this one, there wasn't uh, many of that brand, the Hanamax brand. Um, this Maxwell bag, it just came in. I'm not going to sell it with that Max. I might just give the people the bag just so it doesn't get ruined. But uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, this one could go up to 100 bucks as well. Um, Walkmans, I don't know why. But uh, I'm only putting $50 in the kitty. Because that's my expectations is getting 50 bucks. Uh, this one had $15 on it. Um, if you watch the ride along, if I left that in the ride along when I edited it, um, this one sells for about $50, but um, people have it in the box for $250. Brand new, not used though. This is used. So we haven't tested this out yet. Let's see if there's a CD in there. No CD in there. No uh, Mozart. So um, we'll test this one out and shit and make sure it uh, works. What the hell's that? It's a photo. 
Alexander, Greek origin meaning defender of men. Why is that even in there? Don't want that. Don't want that in there. All right, so I could probably get about $150 um, for this. Um, doesn't have the headphones in there, but I can still, I reckon, get $150 for this. I'm only putting $100 in the kitty because I don't want to go too high yet. But I still reckon this is going to be a goddamn good kitty, so stay to the end. I know you get bored with some of this shit and you just click off and you don't fucking come back and you just fucking go, you just fucking go, you don't fucking go, or you just fast forward to the kitty and you just won't fucking watch everything and you probably fast forwarded it right now. It's a hundred bucks. All right, I'm going to get through these videos very fast. They're 50 cents each, so we spent $50 altogether. That's including the $20 worth of the electronics there. We're going to get through this really fast because we've got a lot of videos to go through and a lot of people get bored. Majority of them are $10 ones each, but $10 adds up. Up. 50 cents to $10, it all adds up. I've told you once, told you twice, don't be a third strike motherfucker. So we get straight into it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Mel Brooks' Dracula and Loving It had the wrong videotape in it. It had Battle of the B Battle of the Bulge in there. Um, I've been spewing, I've never seen this movie, so I wanted to watch that stuff. It was like Naked Gun, but unfortunately, we'll keep the cover. Um, unfortunately, this clamshell, this beautiful, sexy clamshell, had um, a taped off TV version of Empire of the Sun, but we'll keep that clamshell, um, yeah we'll keep that clamshell, because I might put uh, one of my wrestling videos in there for myself, oh it was meant to be a Betamax, it was meant to be a, it was meant to be a Betamax, ah, spewing, that's us. Nice. so uh, the DVDs were a dollar each, I got Oz Season 1, we'll get, uh, for Oz Season 1 we'll get ten dollars, Sons of Anarchy uh, DVD, this is Season 2, Season 2 of Sons of Anarchy, we will put this up and lock this. I'm pretty sure I need Season 2. I've got a whole heap of other ones there, so we'll lock that up so that doesn't go into the kitty. No kitty for you. No kitty for that motherfucker. Now, uh, we've got uh, Robert Powell reads The Cruel Sea. Uh, it sounds boring as shit, and it looks fucking crap. But um, on comps, it looks like I can get about $15 for this. Now, there's only one other person that uh, has this listed. Um, and they've got like $30 postage on it, which won't cost that much. So I'm going to put one at 20 bucks, and I'm pretty confident that this will uh, sell. Um, probably should have checked that the uh, cassettes were actually in there. The Cruel Sea. <laughs> in the Cruel Sea. They're in there. All right. I have never, ever found one of these before. Have you ever found one of these before? I found an 8-track. An 8-track. An Elvis Presley 8-track. Part of me wants to keep it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean up. Um, but uh, that is pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever seen a 8-track uh, before, but um, this is when your parents used to fucking go park up on the uh, hill and get it on and they'd put their 8-track in and they'd listen to such sounds as uh, Love me tender, love me fucking you And you ain't nothing but a hound dog So yeah, this is your 8-track, uh, um, it's a bit funky and dirty. So this was 50 cents. Um, it looks like I can only get about 20 bucks for this, so that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll keep it, because I don't ever have an 8-track. I've never seen one before. I've never seen one or held one, so there's an 8-track. There's something new. Something new. Let's get through the videos. Let's get through the videos fast. Okay, so we got a um, sealed, these were all 50 cents each, a sealed uh, VHS cleaning system. Make sure when you get a cleaning system, um, these ones, even if they're sealed and brand new, uh, you let the uh, buyer know that the liquid probably will be dried up in there and there probably will not be any liquid in there at all. There will not be any liquid in there, I'm telling you now. Um, so, but that, the way it used to work is you put the solution in that little hole there, chuck it in the VHS, wait for it, like, <laughs> and then you hope the bad tracking fucking uh, finishes. So, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice hand modeling there. Nice hand modeling. Oh, yeah, so I'll get 20 bucks for that. Plus, uh, everyone pays for their own postage. Everyone pays for their own postage. Not a fucking charity shop, an eBay shop. Doctor Who Ambassadors of Death. I'll get $15 every day for that. Every day of the week, maybe even more, but I'm only putting 15 in the kitty. We got two Alfred Hitchcock Presents uh, videos. I'll get $10 each for those. Easy, easy peasy. Gripping stuff too. I'll probably get, I've actually got $30, $40 for surfing videos before. Um, so I can probably get about 30, 40 bucks for this. Um, but I am going to put $20 in the kitty to be realistic for the uh, unbelievers and the haters. <laughs> so $20 uh, in the kitty for this one, but I reckon I can get 30, 40 bucks. That's what I'll put it at um, to begin with, but I'll probably take offers. 
but um, I've even got 50 bucks for surfing videos before. But uh, we'll put 20 bucks in the kitty just to make uh, you all y'all happy. But I will get 40 bucks for it. Uh, we got this uh, video, uh, Roots. This is volume two of Roots. Uh, this will sell pretty quick, but we'll only get $10 for it. I'm just a bit, um, uh, name's Cunt. His name's Cunter. Anyway, so I'll get 10 bucks of that every day. That should sell pretty fast, I reckon. Uh, the Shining. Shining will sell for $15 every day of the week. I've sold a Shining for $30 before, but it was uh, one of those time uh, timeline classic ones. Uh, but this one um, should only go for about $15. We got Beethoven second. Uh, Beethoven uh, did a sequel, yes, and I think there's five fucking Beethoven movies. So Beethoven second. Um, yeah, 10 bucks. Uh, Stallone Cobra, this will go for uh, about 20 bucks, but I'm going to put 15 in the kitty because I'm going to undercut the shit out of every motherfucker. So, 15 bucks for Cobra. Look out for this one because this one sells pretty fast. I've sold it in the past. Clint Eastwood uh, movie here, uh, The Outlaw, Josie Wales. Uh, this one I'll only get 10 bucks for, but what I like about this one, I love the Time Life ones where uh, you can see the the red on the inside and shit, but some asshole fucking, I've just got the curse from Diary of a Flipper because uh, I fucking laughed at him, uh, some asshole wrote their name on it, so I've got a little bit of a payback and someone wrote their name on it because I fucking laughed at him, so, but at least it was only on one video, at least it was only on one video. Eddie Murphy Delirious, they'll only go for 10 bucks, sold it before for 10 bucks, uh, it'll be a quick mover. Price it any higher, it will not go, it will not go, so 10 bucks. Uh, Terminator 2 will go for 10 bucks as well. Um, if you have the big case, you'll get about 20 bucks for it, or even a clamshell, maybe more. But this one, this small one, will only get $10 for. Natural Born Killers, you'll get 15 bucks every day of the week for. This should go pretty fast, and that's me undercutting every other motherfucker. Believe it or not, that this will sell for $15. It will. And it probably won't sell until around Christmas time, and it will go like that. Jingle all the way with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Believe it or not, that will fucking sell. It was so good to just get this out of my system. It's, I'm back in the show and tell room. I'm back in the show and tell room for all you guys. Smash the thumbs up button. Smash it all. We got heaps more to go, but smash the thumbs up button. We'll do what the fuck you like. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Club Dread. No one has this listed. This is Broken Lizard. Uh, this is the guys that did Super Troop. This was alright. I liked it. It was like taking the piss out of, um, I know what you did last summer. Um, so I'm only going to put 10 bucks uh, in the kitty, but I can uh, put this at whatever price I want really because no one else has it listed and none have been sold. So I can put it at my own price if I want to, but I'll say $10 just for the kitty. And remember, all of this adds up. All of this adds up. Each $10 adds up. Each $20 adds up. Each fucking, well, right there's $200 with the fucking CD Walkmans and all that to start off with. So I'm going to turn my $50 into fucking $200. All right, this one, and did you see on the other, um, did you see on the other ride along, on the, on the ride along that uh, uh, I found a sure again? I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it because the other one hasn't even sold yet. I thought it probably would have sold because I've done that live. Anyway, don't even think about even suggesting in the comments of me doing this because it's not fucking happening. Uh, we have the Hot Pants Workout. Kylie Minogue's Hot Pants Workout. Yes. Hot Pants Workout. Kylie Minogue's Hot Pants Workout. Um, oh my god. Kylie's butt there. Kylie Minogue's Hot Pants Workout. Funny enough, this will only go. I'll only get 10 bucks for this. I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. So don't even comment for me to do it. Do not comment for me to do this. I don't want to see comments for me to do this. Because it's not fucking happening. All right, Boys in the Hood. We'll get 15 bucks for this every day of the week. Um, depends what fucking uh, cover you get it in. You can get more money for it. But 15 bucks is uh, what I'll get for this one. Uh, Salem's Lot the Movie. I'll get 15 bucks for this one. 15 bucks is an English video. Uh, you can tell the difference between uh, your uh, Aussie ones and your English ones. Because uh, your English ratings, you'll see there. See how it says 15 with a red circle around it? and uh, little numbers, then you know straight away that that's gonna be a uh, 
uh, UK VHS tape. Just a little tip for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna smash through these, smash through them. Sold this before, Honey I Shrunk the Kids in a big case. Uh, $10 every day of the week. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, I'll get freaking 10 bucks for that one. Thank you very much, put that money in my hand. Navy Seals, I thought I would get more, but I'm not going to because Charlie Sheen has now been accused of being a pedo. So I only get 10 bucks for this one. This one is not uh, very popular. This one will sit for a while because no one wants Charlie Sheen shit at the moment. So if you have two and a half men stuff as well, good luck with that because uh, Charlie Sheen has been accused of being a pedo and uh, it's taken a while for his stuff to sell. In saying that, I sold a Young Guns 2 fucking uh, VHS the other day and he's in it, so maybe they wanted Emilio Estevez. A D-Day, people love their war stuff. I'll get uh, $15 for this. I'm actually going to um, watch this. I'm gonna see some footage, so I'm gonna have a watch this one. Turbulence, we'll get uh, $10 for it. What a shit movie. It might take a while to uh, sell, but um, 10 bucks for Turbulence. We got the Ghost of Mississippi, y'all. Ghost of Mississippi, I'll get 10 bucks for this all day of the week. Um, won't be a fast mover. A few of these won't be fast movers, but it will sell. They all eventually sell in the end. $10 for Firestorm. Firestorm, 10 bucks. Gimps, an underdog story. An underdog story, Gimps. Uh, there's only one other person that has it listed for $15 and they've got like $30, $40 fucking postage on it. None have ever been sold with the word GIMP. I'm pretty sure it will sell pretty fast because my store does pretty good. So I'm going to put $20 in the kitty for that and I'm not actually not going to take less than $20 for that because uh, there's only other one person selling it and none have ever sold. So I've got a good feeling about this one. So you will see this in what has sold one day because I fucking kitty does not lie. I'm telling you. This one surprised me. Um, I've never owned this one to sell and I've never sold it. So of course I've never sold it if I've never fucking owned it to sell. Dickhead fucking thing to say. So Super Mario Brothers, um, this one sells pretty good. So if you ever see this at your thrift store, pick that up. People buy this one all the time on comps. Um, it looks like it goes between 10 to $30 depending on what country and all that. So. Um, I sell a lot to the US and all that, so I'm putting this at $20 because uh, I think a US will buy it. A US buyer will buy it because um, the US people uh, have it priced a little bit more, so I'm uh, pricing mine a little bit higher than all the other people on there, but I'm guaranteeing this will sell for 20 bucks. I reckon it'll go pretty fast too. This one I'm looking forward to watching. I saw this when I was a kid. This has got uh, Kevin Bacon in it, uh, The River Wild. I only get 10 bucks for this one, unfortunately. A lot of people have this one listed. Uh, it was a popular movie back in the 90s. I think it was 93. I'm not sure it doesn't say it anywhere, but uh, a popular movie. <laughs> Look at this little fucking prick. Thinks he's top shit with his fucking dinosaurs. So this little fucking prick here, Prestoria, he never even fucking made it. You're another one of these fucking child stars that never fucking made it, mate. Fucking, what do you do now? Work at McDonald's. Yeah, this one will only get 10 bucks for, but uh, someone will buy it because uh, dinosaurs, man. Dinosaurs, tough sells. Nearly didn't pick this one up, Pathfinder. Uh, this one I'll get $15 for. I probably could get more. Um, a lot of people have uh, sold it for more and all that, so I might try my luck at $30. But um, on realistic, uh, realistically, it'll be about $15. Bucks, so I'll put $15 in the kitty for that. See, the kitty's building up. It's building up. Have you been adding up as we've been going along? Because it's a big kitty. All right, Malicious. I'll probably get, I can get probably $20 for this, um, but I'm only putting $10 in the kitty. Uh, because by Australian standards, it only gets sells for 10, but in the US, in Australian dollars, it sells for about 20. Um, hopefully, uh, the other sellers of this um, don't uh, sell worldwide and I can sell it uh, for 20, but um, I'll try my luck on 20. What is that? Is that shit on it? Doesn't smell like shit. So $10, $10. Bucks. This one, Phoenix, has never been sold. I've never heard of it, never seen it before. Realistically, um, I'm just gonna put $10 in the kitty and it will sell, because a lot of those titles that I get that I've never heard of before, fucking, if you've never heard of them, and they're not on Netflix and stand in that, fucking grab them for 50 cents each, because they sell for $10, 50 cents into 10 bucks, fuck yeah. And they pay for their own postage. So Phoenix, I reckon I can get 10 bucks for. I reckon I can actually get 20 for this, because um, a lot of the times I do get 20 for the no-name ones. But uh, we'll put 10 bucks in the kitty for that one. This one had a um, WA Salvage sticker on it. I ripped it off though. Uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Collector's Classic. Um, it's got The Shooting and Ride the Whirlwind. Two movies I've never fucking heard of. Um, two full feature-length movies by Jack Nicholson, black, black and white ones. Uh, interesting. 
I should get about 20 bucks for this. I'm going to put it on for $50 though because no one has this listed and none have ever been sold. So it is kind of rare. So I'll just chuck the word rare behind it and um, hopefully I'll get 50 bucks for it. But we're just going to put $20 in the kitty. What you need to realize is <laughs> I've been watching you for a long time now. Where do you think? Where do you think all this support came from? All the support for the thumbs down party. <laughs> <laughs> platoon now you'll see a lot of platoon on the uh sold listings um go for 10 bucks uh this one's a little bit different because this platoon is a uh, video shop hire one yeah it looks fucking dirty and disgusting but people fucking love that love the fucking war sticker on there love that it was a fucking x rental with all the stickers and shit uh this will go for 30 bucks i'm telling you now it will go for 30 bucks so i'm putting 30 bucks in the kitty for that one dust till dawn sold it before ten dollars right there in the kitty great movie ten bucks this one i don't reckon will ever fucking sell uh i'll get ten bucks for it B.I. Woskiski. No one is going to type in looking for fucking B.I. Woskiski. So this one's going to be a hit and a miss. I'm going to put 10 bucks in the kitty for it because it should go for 10 bucks. Someone else is selling it for 15, I think it was. None on the sold listings because this is a fucking stupid movie. It looks stupid. It looks shit. Uh, it looks fucking dog shit. I fucking hate it. But I picked it up because of the cover and because it's different. She's as sexy as she is smart, the New York Times says. And if the New York Times says that, it will sell for $10 in kitty quicker than we realize. Okay, I never heard of this one before, Witness to Execution. Sells in the US uh, for about 20 bucks, but um, we'll get 10 bucks uh, here for uh, us Aussies, uh, $10. Another one that uh, will probably sell to someone in the US because it hasn't sold in Australia, but a fair few copies sold in the US, so lucky I sent over there, most wanted. Never heard of this one before, so um, pretty cool. Columbo goes to the guillotine. Columbo stuff looks like it sells all right to the US as well. Um, most new Columbo stuff sells between 10 and 20 dollars, so I'm gonna put this at 20 dollars. Uh, but I am gonna fucking price the shit out of this because no one has sold this and uh, no one else has it for sale. So it looks like it's a pretty rare one, this Columbo one, um, with a different cover. So I'm gonna fucking maybe put it at 70 bucks and just try my fucking luck. Um, if you're the only one on there, you might as well do that because if you're the only one on there, just fucking do it, who cares? Uh, but in reality, $20, $20. But if it sells for more, I'll definitely show you on a show and tell. So we got the Naked Gun, number one. I like this movie, it's fucking funny. It was OJ Simpson before he was a murderer. Uh, this is um, 10 bucks, this one. I'll get 10 bucks for this. Really funny movie. OJ Simpson was fucking gold in this, and so was Leslie Nielsen. They were both great. Picked up a horror movie. Horror movie, now remember. Remember, uh, me and Flipper have got a bet that uh, first person to find from a uh, thrift shop, op shop, um, clamshell horror. Clamshell horror. The other person does a full drink skull and a shot of whiskey. Unfortunately, this horror, psycho remake, absolute shit, dog shit movie. Not in a clamshell, not in a fucking clamshell. I should have fucking tricked him and put it in a clamshell. But there's more movies to come because I haven't got to the clamshells yet. I'm still going with the big boxes. See, notice I started with the fucking small cases, went to the big boxes, and then I've got the clamshells to finish off. So maybe there is a horror. So Psycho, uh, I'm, most people sell this for about eight bucks. Don't grab this movie if you see it on VHS because it's not gonna be a fast mover. 10 bucks for that one though. Uh, this one looked cool, the cover. I liked it, I've never seen this or heard of it. Train to Kill, Train to Kill. Two brothers on a quest, bloody revenge. Uh, looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having a little watch of this. And uh, unfortunately, this only goes for 10 bucks. And these are the ones are the ones that usually go for about your yeah, $30 or whatever. So, but really cool. Always pick these ones up. So 50 cents into 10 bucks. Come on. There's your fucking Macca's meal right there, buddy. And the last of the uh, big cases before we get into the clamshells, Ratty Ratty Piper is in this movie. I've never seen it or heard of it. I'm going to watch this. Uh, 
Immortal Kombat. Immortal Kombat. It looks fucking bad. It looks really, really bad. Um, this one I should get about 20 bucks for. I'm going to price it like really, really high. But I should only get about 20 bucks for it. So I'm going to put 20 bucks in the kitty for it. Um, that's Rowdy Rowdy Piper, a hot rod from WWE. So that's fucking cool. I'm going to watch that. It's probably going to be terrible, but I'm going to watch it. Now to the clamshells. We found Pretty Woman in a clamshell. Can this count as horror? It's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, we'll only get $10 for uh, this uh, Pretty Woman, but um, if you find Pretty Woman in um, your normal small case or a big case, don't pick it up. It won't sell. Um, I just took a gamble on this because I've never seen Pretty Woman in a uh, clamshell. So I'm just going to try my luck with uh, Pretty Woman in clamshell. Pretty cool. Now the next clamshell has the word dead in it. Dead. Horror you say? Unfortunately it's action. It is action. Dead heat. Action movie. Never seen it before. Looks fucking terrible as well. Uh, we'll only get $10 for this. Um, I'm going to shoot for 20 I'm going to shoot for 20 but in reality we're probably only going to get 10 bucks for this one. Looks horrible. Maybe if I look up an IMBD, IMBD would tell me if that's fucking actually classified as a horror. If it is, I'm fucking taking it as a fucking horror. IMBD, look this up. IMBD, dead heat. If IMBD, just because the video shop put an action sticker on it doesn't mean fucking uh, they're right. IMBD says it's an action, comedy, horror, sci-fi, thriller. So IMBD doesn't know shit, so fucking stand by. Shit, this actually could be a fucking horror. Dead Heat is a 1988 American buddy cop action zombie comedy. Zombies horror about an officer attempting to arrest zombies. Come on, just someone fucking on here say it's a horror. Now, Rotten Tomatoes says that this is a action adventure comedy horror and mystery. So you guys be the judge. Does that count as a horror clamshell? Does that count as a horror clamshell? Hmm. I think it does. I think it might. It's not horror horror, but I just kind of cheated the system a little bit. Anyway, probably not. But there's still more. Uh, we got uh, Finders Keepers. This is a nice clamshell, this one. Finders Keepers. Uh, well, I get 10 bucks for this one in reality because there's no one that has it listed at all. Um, but I am going to try and get about 50 bucks for this. And I reckon I fucking will too because it looks pretty fucking rare and uh, old. So even the cover's kind of stuck to the thing. So Finders Keepers, never heard of that one before. That is all the uh, videotapes because the next four are beta tapes. Beta. You get some good money for beta. Now I've sold a beta tape for $50 before and that's the only one I've ever sold. I went on listings and it's not there because anymore because I did sell it about eight, nine months ago. And I've never ever had another beta tape before, ever. Um, so they don't sell that very fast on there, um, well, it doesn't look like they sell very fast because uh, they're harder to get your hands on. But um, some idiot's been selling them for like fucking $5 each and all that on there, which is an idiot because you can get some good money for beta tapes. Really good money for beta tapes from collectors. So the first one is uh, Breakdance. Uh, there's Breakdance there. I should get $30 for that. I'm going to try for $50, but I'm going to put $30 in the kitty. I'll show you what a beta tape looks like if you've never seen a beta tape before. They're smaller. They're way, way, way smaller. So they're pretty damn cool. That's so just a small VHS. So I should definitely get $30 for that, but I reckon I'll get $50. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's a funny movie, Breakdance. Um, another beta tape. Uh, this is a How to Breakdance instructional video. So as you see, nice small beta tape. <laughs> and I was spewing, I was thinking to myself, fucking, I was thinking to myself, bet you. The fucking horror movie that I find in a clamshell is a fucking beta tape. No, that didn't happen. But still, tell me if you think that other movie is a uh, horror, because we can all and put in the comments horror or not horror. Yes, horror, not horror. Dead Heat, look it up. Horror or not horror. Comments will decide. Flipper. Two more to go. Another beta tape. Um, Triumphus of a man called Horse. Looks like that was a library video as well. I love the fucking small beta tapes. So that's a real cool fucking cover. I really like the artwork on that. Uh, this one I should get about $50 for, and I'm actually going to put $50 in the kitty for, because no one has this. 
I've sold um, the most randomest beta tape last time for $50 that I never ever heard of. I guarantee I'll get 50 bucks for this. I'm actually gonna put it at, um, um, I'm actually gonna put it at like $70, but I reckon I'll get 50 bucks for that, easy. And the last tape is another beta tape. Another beta tape. I love the fucking picture of this. I wish I had a fucking beta machine so I could have a little watch of this. Um, the land that time forgot. I'm gonna realistically just put $50 in the kitty for this one, but this Betamax tape, I honestly reckon will go for between $50 and $100. I really do think it will. It's more of the rare uh, Betamax tapes that are out there, and um, I think that it will go pretty high. Um, I definitely, kitty 100% will fucking put 50 bucks in the kitty for that. And that's a guarantee. That is a guarantee. 50 bucks right there. I love the artwork on that. That's so cool. Must be a black and white movie, that. But the land that time forgot. Some dinosaurs. Everyone loves a bit of dinosaur action. So if you were adding all that up, if you were adding all of that up, you would have noticed that it, that, that it works out to a lot. I spent $50 at 50 cents each. You know, if I can, it would probably come to $500 if they were $10 each. But they're more than $10 each, some of them. So, you know, someone fucking, someone said the other day, some asshole said that fucking, before I bring Kitty up, someone fucking said that Kitty was fucking uh, being a whore. Someone said that Kitty was fucking sleeping around. Well, for, just because we haven't been doing show and tell, Kitty's been fucking sleeping around. You're a slut. Tell the truth, you slut cat. <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the first proper kitty on a show and tell for a long time. Bring up the kitty. Kitty. Before fees. Before taxes. Before the fucking other mumbo jumbo bullshit. Everyone pays for their own fucking postage. Kitty, we spent 50 bucks. What are we gonna turn that $50 into, Kitty? Come on, Kitty! <laughs> my, my, Kitty. $1,005. $1,005 from all these videotapes. Believe it or not, they will fucking sell. And I do make money from videos. People that are haters and trolls that don't believe me. Mr. Fucking Troll Man, you don't believe me. Kitty, Kitty, just fuck off. Oh, you've been getting fed by fucking the troll. Yeah. Fucking get out of here. You can make money from videos, but you've got to know what you're grabbing. You've got to know what you're doing. Um, don't just grab anything. I can because I know what sells. But if you're going to just grab anything, always grab your movies like this horror movie um, or these movies that um, you just never seen before because uh, they're the ones that will uh, get you a little bit more money. And then you want your horror movies because that's classified apparently as a horror movie. Put in the comments, is that a horror movie or not? There's those shooting zombies. There's zombies. And Rotten Tomatoes says it's a horror movie. Rotten Tomatoes says it's a horror movie. IMBD says it's a horror movie. The video shop said it was action. It says there's zombies in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. But I think it's a horror movie. I think Flipper. Um, so that's really good. Um, we'll get these cleaned up. We'll get these uh, listed and all that. So um, don't forget, uh, until um, thrift stores are open again, I don't have my schedule back of uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays of chucking my videos out. So they're a little bit all over the place. I'm just gonna have some fun and do some crazy stupid shit and just muck around and do a heap of lives and all that if you wanna see uh, what's sold. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Worldwide Reselling every Sunday. It's on the uh, four of our channels. You know who we all are. Um, so don't forget to uh, check out um, all of us guys. And uh, if you go to any of the uh, Worldwide Reselling uh, episodes and you're not subscribed to any of the other three guys, if you click down the bottom, it has the uh, links to all of their channels on there as well. Their link is in my YouTube profile as well on the uh, main dashboard, so you can click on their channels at any time to subscribe as well. Don't forget to support Australian YouTube channels and all Australian content. Thumbs up, thumbs down, do it the fuck you want, subscribe, don't subscribe, it is your life, I cannot tell you what to do, but if I do tell you what to do, means I fucking actually mean it, and I want you to succeed, because success breeds success, come on, alright guys, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want, I'm out of here, I'm fucking hungry man, I'm fucking hungry man, I'm out, Sue, so you're a slut, slut, slut,
tell the truth, you slut cat. <laughs>